let's look at these questions uh, which are called rates problem or uh, ratio and proportion problem so for these type of questions uh, if you stop and think uh, about your answer it's not going to be difficult okay you have to use just use your common sense okay so let's read the first question Haley uh, is paid 134.50 $34.50 for two, 12, 12 and a half hours of work. How much should she, should she expect to be paid for eight hours? So let's make up two columns here. Let's say dollar and hours, H for hours. So what is what are they saying? You, she is paid 134.5 for 12 and a half hours, so 12.5. So the question is, if she works for eight hours, how much should she expect? Now, use your common sense. This number that you're going to get should be less than 134. So this is this is eight from eight. Sorry, from 12.5 you're going to eight. So this is decreasing. So the dollars that she, she is going to get is also going to be decreasing. So let's think what. Now, if you want to get from 12 to 8, so my question should be 12 times what, 12.5 times what should give you is 8. Well, that's difficult. So, well, I can say that whatever that is, that should be 8 divided by 12.5. So, let me show this on the calculator. I'll explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, I'll go... 8 divided by 12.5. So this is called a factor. And this is called a direct proportion. If this is decreasing, this is also decreasing. So it is 0 0.64. So that means 12 times 0 0.64 should give you 8. So let me explain that. So 12.5 times 6.4 sorry 0 0.64 12 this is what I'm trying to explain 12.5 times 0 0.64 should give you 8 12.4 oops 12.5 times 0 0.64 equal 8 so the factor the, this is called a factor so 12 times 0 0.64 gives you 8. So this will also decrease by the same factor, 0 0.64. If this is decreasing, this is also decreasing. So now I should go, well, 134. There are different ways of doing this, times 0 0.64, which is 86.08. Okay, so let us let me do it again. 134.5 times 0.64 which is 86.08 so this should be 86.08 dollars okay so let's do this in a different way suppose dollar and hours okay using proportion you can do this in a different way if you got 12 hours she is getting 134.5. So for 25 hours, what's happening here? So this is times it by 2. So you understand this is also times it by 2. So 134 times 134.5, 134.5 times 2 is 269. So this is 269 dollars. Now, if I want to get one dollar, sorry, for one hour, I have to divide by 25. Okay, so the, do the same thing to this. So divide by 25. I'm just explaining a different way. So 269 divided by 25. That's one hour hourly rate, which is 10.76. 10.76. Can you see the proportion? And now I want to find 8 hours, so times it by 8. So you do the same thing to this, times it by 8. So 
times it by 8. Hopefully, you should get the same answer, 86.08. So yeah, instead of doing all these steps, you just know the factor and get to this answer.